Okay, today we're gonna make ginger snap pumpkin pie. And I'm gonna use my roasted pumpkin that I already made. Um, you can look at that in previous videos or go on my website. Uh, but basically it's a cup and a half of roasted pumpkin. And we have three, I'm sorry, we have uh, three fourths cup of packed brown sugar, light or dark, it doesn't matter. Um, a tablespoon of cornstarch, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of vanilla. Um, I have some ground nutmeg that I'll make here. I'll just ground that up. Um, we also have a can of evaporated milk. And then this is two egg whites and one egg. And um, for those of you who don't know how to split the egg white from the egg, you know what the easiest thing is? Just crack an egg in a bowl and then scoop out the, the yolk. And, um, and then over here, I have already a prepared um, the, the crust, which is a ginger snap cookie crust. And uh, I'll show you how to make that. For the crust of the pie, for the crust of the pie, um, I use ginger snap um, cookies. And uh, I used to use a different brand, but I can't seem to get them anymore. They're gonna be two tablespoons of butter, two and a half tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of sugar. But I'm first going to put the cookies in the Cuisinart oh. and chop them up. Okay, and then we need one and a quarter cups of this granulated chopped up ginger snap cookies. And um, I already have two quarters in here, so that's three. Four, that's all I do, I usually just press it along the side there. And, um, and I, it, it, it depends on how thick you want your crust, but I found that um, a cup and a quarter is been the best. And then um, you add the sugar, and then you melt the butter and add the butter in there as well. The crust should look like this, and I'm going to put it in this prepared pan, uh, pie, pie plate uh, that I sprayed with Pam. And um, I'm gonna press the, um, the crust up along the sides. I'll show you how that looks. Okay, and uh, so I put the pie crust in there, and then I just go around and I you know, press it up against uh, the pie plate and you know pat it down in the center and uh, it, it comes halfway around halfway um, up the sides of the, the pie plate it doesn't come all the way to the top and then you put it in the oven at 325 for five minutes so this is the filling and it just can't get any easier than adding in the sugar to the pumpkin Corn starch, cinnamon, vanilla, two egg whites and an egg, one egg, let's say. Just like to make sure everything's mixed up very well. I'm also going to add in um, some nutmeg, but I need two hands for that, so I'm just going to add that in. That's about 10 turns of uh, my nutmeg grinder. I'll just add that in. And the last ingredient is the condensed milk. And then once everything's combined, I'm going to take this, I'm going to pour it into the pie shell and put it in the oven and cook it for 
one hour and 15 minutes at 325. Okay, that's all poured into the pie shell. You can see how it a little bit of the shell um, is peeking out, but um, it just pretty much fills it. And I'm gonna put that in the oven, like I said, 325 for an hour and 15 minutes. Fresh out of the oven, that is ginger snap crust pumpkin pie.